Liverpool have signed Fabinho from Monaco for reported 40 million euros. What else can you tell us about the move? Well, obviously, there's a player who, who's been linked with, with a number of clubs for, for some time. I think he really fits the profile of what Liverpool wanted to do. Um, I think they moved very quickly, obviously, and, uh, and, and, and they kept this on, on the lowdown. Seems like a lot of money, but for 24, for, you're getting a guy who's 24 years old, you're getting a guy with a good pedigree, you're getting a guy who can play both defensive midfield and, and right back if necessary, uh, and he's used to a pressing system, having played that under Jardim. I think between him and, and Keita, um, they can let Emery Sean go, and uh, I think Klopp's going to feel pretty good about that midfield next year. Stevie, you've held Liverpool's midfield three mm -hmm. all season, kind of the collective. Do yep. you think Fabinho's a good fit? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Do you think it'll start? Uh, it's possible. You know, there's no. I mean, we just don't know when Oxley Chamberlain's going to be right. Uh, definitely needs choices. No Chan. Henderson's had his injury problems as well. Uh, fortunately, Kate is coming in. So I think this is a great signing. This guy, as Gab says, is, is not stuck to one position. He's a football player. I think Klopp likes football players, people that he can move around and will still do as good a job wherever you put them. So I think this is a great signing for Liverpool. It gives you depth, it gives you flexibility, it's a step forward for Liverpool. But we know there are other areas where Liverpool should pay attention to. This is only step one, I suppose, but certainly there are other things that I know Stevie Nicol is anxious to make sure that this team gets right. Mm. Fabinho is only one piece of what it's going to be, I think, a few other pieces coming in.